Let's take a look at what's new in Q4 2021 for Jonas Club Management. Here are the new menus we've added in Q4. Throughout this presentation, you'll see slides similar to the one you see here. You'll see the title of the release feature, the release number, so you'll know that you need to be on this, at least this latest version of Jonas in order to have access to this feature, where the menu or feature is located within Jonas, a description of the release, as well as a helpful photo. Let's start with accounts payable. We have updated a few of our programs to allow you to update certain information in specific programs for a credit note. It is now possible to use the Edit Unpaid Invoice Date of Record program to change the date of record on an AP credit note, i.e. a negative invoice, provided it hasn't been part of any payment records. Therefore, if it is a negative invoice and has not paid anything off, you can change the date of record. Similar to the previous slide, it is now possible to use the Change Supplier To field in the Edit Invoice Information program on an unpaid credit invoice to change the supplier code the invoice is attached to. We have added two new positive pay bank file formats, one for PNC Bank and one for Northern Trust. Use the Specs button for file format details. For example, if you have changed banks, the Specs button can be helpful to know the new file format. Next, we have Club Management. If your club utilizes minimums and the GJK25GU statement design, you now have the ability to notify members on their printed statements that they have reached their annual max. This can be turned on in the Club Form Designs program, Configure, Options menu. Use the Separate Minimum section dropdown to one of the listed options. Here is an example of how Annual Maximum Exceeded will appear on a member's printed statement. It will let the member know they have reached their annual maximum and therefore their monthly max will not be applicable moving forward. This feature will also be available for online statements in 2022. Once available, it can be enabled in the Clubhouse Online E3 profile via the Statement Settings button by enabling the Annual Max setting. Here is an example of how we expect this feature to look on the online statements, but may be subject to adjustments. We are always looking for ways to improve our reports. When using the Export to Excel feature, the report of club activity can now include the member's main email address as a selectable column within the report. In addition, when using the Export to Excel feature, the member visits report can now include both the member's phone number and alternate phone number as a selectable column for the report. Within the Setup Bank PAP interface program, when you are using the NACHA file controls interface format, you now have the option to control how the club name appears when using the posting program. In the configuration screen, you can enable pull club name from this profile, which will cause the posting program to get the club name for the header record from the company name field in the configuration screen, instead of from the basic club profile. Do you have a lot of member statuses and have to look through a long list within the lookup list? to find the status you use on a regular basis? We've added a way to help you with this. Within the Member Status Rules program, for each status, you can restrict how that status should appear in the F2 lookups. Your choices are no restrictions, which is the default, yes, hide the code from the list, but still allow it to be typed in, or toggle. This will hide the code in the list, but you can use the toggle icon in the F2 lookup to view a secondary list of statuses set to this restriction. This way, you can clean up your member statuses to only show the ones you use most. When using the Credit Card PAP's lookup in the Create Credit Card PAP programs, the member's last name and given name will appear in the lookup list to better assist with finding the correct member. You can now add a GL description override in the Update of Fast Entry Receipts program. If you enter a description override in this field, the program will use the override description instead of the default Fast Cash Receipts description. A new file upload format, text file tab slash comma delimited with minimum and statement description has been added to the list in the miscellaneous charges program. This format allows you to add a unique statement description for each individual charge instead of using the same description for all charges. 
Also, we've added the ability for you to decide how much of the charge should be applied to a member's minimum spending on a charge by charge basis. If a member has multiple charges, we have added another option to detail these charges as individual charges on the member statement, instead of summarizing them into one charge, i.e. each transaction will post as a separate line charge instead of summarized into one. To turn on this feature, enable the post charges in detail field. Otherwise, if you do not enable this feature, you can still have all charges summarized into one. Use the specs button for more details on the new format. In addition, this format will validate errors and not update them and provide an error report. Here is an example for you. Now let's take a look at General Ledger. You can now have depreciation schedules added to the document management module. If the post to GL field is flagged, the depreciation schedules audit posting will be added as an audit type document. If not selected, the schedule will be added to the JCM docs as a new GL document type of document. For those who don't know, the Advanced Document Management module is an add-on module that allows you to store and access documents in different modules and areas across Jonas. For more information, please reach out to your account rep. Next up is US Payroll. A new totaled required option has been added to the Print Payment History Reports program. If you select subtotals by department, the report will sort employees by payroll department with a subtotal added for each department. The department is based on what is attached to the employee's maintain employee record file. In addition to being able to override the email body message for earning statements within the payroll profile, you can now also override the subject line of an email. The subject added to the JML screen in the payroll profile will override the subject line set up in the JML parameters program for the Z2 US earning statements form type. You also have the ability to link an email body message using the department code lookup. This email body message can be created using HTML and fillable fields in the letter designer program. So it allows for more personalization if you'd like to use that option. Now we have point of sale. If your club utilizes the Elevon card processor, GiveX gift card processing can now be set up in the Elevon setup program by enabling gift cards and using the lookup fields accordingly. For the SM4 gratuity function button that can be added to a menu, we have added the option to require supervisor access in order to use this button at POS. When this field is checked, upon selecting the button at POS, the server will be prompted to get a manager's approval before using the gratuity button. This option can be enabled when editing a button within the menu design or quick setup menu design programs. The prep option menu design has been given a redesign. We have redesigned the prep option menu screen to look similar to your menu design screens. We have added the ability for your prep menu design to use colors that are available in the menu design program. You can now style a button like how you would in the menu design program. Simply select the button, then customize the button settings. We have even added the option to ask for a price at POS when using this prep option. This can be super handy for prep options that may have a different price depending on when or where they are being added within POS. If you prefer the old design, don't worry, we've got you covered. You can select prep item edit menu design to open the original design in order to make edits to specific features for multiple buttons at the same time. We have also added a test button so you can go ahead and view and test your new design in the test mode before you finalize and use it at POS. Let's take a look at tea time management. The member playing partner reviews is a new report for members who belong to the GIN or GolfNet handicap services. This report can be run in the member handicaps module. The member playing partner reviews report can be emailed using a new JML parameters form type using the report usage option. If set to handicap committee, the results will be in one report and emailed to staff. If set to per member, a report will be generated for each member that has results in the report, and the report will be emailed as an attachment so that every member will receive their own report. It can also be configured to run under club automation, configured to exclude member activity and activity on specific golf courses, and run for all players on the tee sheet or just the players on a reservation. The report will include the players in the group and what score and tee blocks they entered into GIN or GolfNet. 
If you want to email the member playing partner reviews report, the new form type TQ in the JML Parameters program must be first set up. If your club utilizes club automation, you can also set up to have this report run on an automated schedule. For those who don't know, Club Automation is an add-on module that allows you to set reports to run on an automated schedule. Contact your account rep for more info. Lastly, we have Timekeeper. A new field, Do Not Show Historical Records, has been added to the Report by Department program. If selected, only records that are current and maintain time data will print on the report. In order to help clean up and maintain staff accounts, a new menu option, Activate slash Deactivate Staff, has been added. This program allows you to change staff status to active or inactive in bulk. A list of staff to choose from will display based on the status selected, whether you choose active or deactive. And this program works similar to other bulk selection programs within Jonas. Select staff from the left pane selection list and add them to the right pane to be changed list. Then go ahead and preview and update. Lastly, the cash tip summary report can now display $0 amounts. This feature can be enabled in the Timekeeper System Profile Options window by selecting the Cash Tip Store Zero Records field. This feature can be handy for instances where employees that are flagged for cash tip reporting do not enter an amount for tips upon clocking out.